I'm Mel Flight, Collections Discovery Assistant at the Caroline Simpson Library. Let's take a quick peek at our current display, Home in the Hunter. This display looks at the changing fortunes of three Hunter region estates represented in our collections. This wonderful panoramic photograph from 1889 shows Thomas Cook's property Turinville, just near Scone. In one of the images you can see the Cook family enjoying tea in the garden with their beloved pets, but a closer inspection of the dogs may be quite surprising. They are in fact not real dogs, but terracotta statues. We don't really know whether the statues are meant to represent ex-pets or were simply a decorative feature for the photographs, but I do like the fact that one has been given a bowl of water. The photographs capture Thomas's pride in his expansive garden and beyond the horse paddocks where he kept his prized racehorses. The edges of the garden are beautifully bound by terracotta edging tiles such as this one that was made locally in Newcastle. Some of the properties survive to this day, others survive only in fragments, memories, photographs and text. In the Caroline Simpson collection we are lucky enough to hold three tiles that came from the internal courtyard of Duckenfield Park House. They're very much inspired by medieval tiles that were coming back into fashion in the late 19th century. The one in the centre here, which is slightly thicker, probably came from a fireplace within the house. A photo from the 1970s shows a remnant of the internal courtyard, including the beautiful decorative fountain, which can be clearly seen in our 1888 Colebrookdale catalogue. Unfortunately, the whereabouts of the fountain is no longer known. The incredibly grand home of John Eales Jr. was unfortunately sold off. The contents auctioned in 1903 and in 1917, an auction to sell off the very structure of the house, the blocks of stone, the timber floorboards, the copper piping, until nothing remained. Our changing displays in the Caroline Simpson Library reflect the depth and breadth of our collection, dealing with the home, interiors and gardens of New South Wales.